Sweet's music reaction time. Oh, yeah. Hey, today we're heading back to the Swedish kitchen. Oh, with the amazing Chris. That's right. He's cooking up a meal. Oh, are we invited? Mm, we just crashed the party. <laughs> so this is from his own website. And for all you new fans who discovered him through America's Got Talent, make sure you subscribe because I he's only got like 80,000 exactly. subscribers. Exactly. I'm surprised Come he doesn't on, have people. million subscribers. I'm telling you. He, well, oh, mm, it's worth subscribing to. <laughs> you guys need to go and check his own channel and support. Yes, that's right. So this is one of the most requested songs that we got from his kitchen sessions. Really? Yeah. And it's called The Seventh Trumpet. And I'm just finding out right now, it's an original song. Oh. Hey. Did he sing this one during the competition? I don't know. Uh, he might have sung it in some other competition, but he, America's Got Talent. My guess is it's probably going to be one of the songs he's going to break out later. Mm. I see, I see. All right. This is a great idea for us to listen before he's going to sing it on stage. We yeah, have... so hopefully when we hear, we're going to be like, we know that song. Exactly, right. Chris, <laughs> we've been stalking you online. From 2016, this came up before he was on Swedish Idol. Mm -hmm. So just up and coming, but it was clear even back then he was creating his own oh, yes. music. Oh, yes. Super, super talented. Mm -hmm. I bet you this is like a hip hop song huh? infused with a a lot of opera because okay. that's what he does. <laughs> Let's listen to this. And away we go. Chris is so long intro. His intros are way too long. <laughs> Chris is a YouTube, my man. You just need to start right away. <laughs> oh wow. Did he cut his hair? You can't tell. He didn't cut his hair. Look how short it is compared to what he looks like. It's so nice to see him with a man bun. Is that how you call it? Man bun. It's cute, but you, you don't get to bun your hair. So <laughs> where are you going with this? His hairstyle. It's cute. You rarely see that with Chris. Chris will always have his hair down. And then if not, then, you know, tie it at the back or something. This was like, the guy has facial hair up the yin yang. Oh, He's yeah. either got crazy long hair or crazy big beard or some combination of things. So at this point, I've stopped commenting on it because otherwise it just sounds like I'm constantly jealous of the fact that this guy has facial hair <laughs> exactly. and I have none. So I'm just focused on the music. Oh. Wow, he's got some crazy tats. How come I never noticed that before? You did? Ooh. Wait a minute. Who's playing the guitar right now? The lighting. At least he put on clean socks, because most guys probably won't even do that. <laughs> like you. <laughs> yeah. Hey.
my sense is he recorded this several times. And really? what you're seeing here is uh, not a live session of him playing, but him like capturing it for the camera. That's why he's got a lot of different cuts. Mm -hmm. You have to think about it this way, right? For you to get cuts where you're moving in close and you're moving in far, it's not one take. Because you would then see the guy pull back and then zoom in with one shot. It's not the case. It's at least minimally two shots, which means that one of them has the audio and one of them doesn't. Or the smarter thing to do is just to record it in a studio where the acoustics are perfect. You don't have any crazy things like your microwave going off in the background, mom coming home and yelling, hey, winter dinner, that kind of thing. Or, you know, the neighbor's dog barking kind of thing. It's <laughs> like, I'm serious. I mean, you're in your kitchen and your neighborhood even we have this problem when we film here. We hear people down by the pool all the time. We hear cops going by all the time because it's Las Vegas. Sometimes the fan kicks in and the air conditioning, we can hear that. Mm -hmm. Very subtle things. But the audio is just so pure here mm -hmm. that to me it tells me that it was recorded. That being said, it doesn't take away the fact that it was him singing. It's amazing audio. Mm -hmm. And this whole idea of filming in the kitchen is just a great sort of intimate sort of play. Right. For us, it's like so raw at the same time if you are not familiar with how to edit and all that. So, yeah, good job. Nobody getting in touch. You Just notice the kiss tattoo he's got back there. <laughs> I saw that on, on one video though. You saw in his video. Yeah. He probably got a whole body full of tats. <laughs> his girlfriend has tons of tats too all over her body. Huh? You seen his girlfriend? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen what she looks like. Oh my god, he's just sitting at like... It, it, <laughs> struggling singing that song. <laughs> He's not the kind of guy who likes to move about a lot. He kind of just sits there and just does his thing. <laughs> Does he have the cameraman or is it just he, his editing? Well, the camera's moving around, so someone's definitely behind the camera. Oh. <laughs> you didn't notice? It's moving over a lot of different angles and whatnot. Yeah, In well, fact, I thought he's putting camera here, putting camera here. No, and no, the, the camera's know, moving. That one right there at the ending makes me realize, oh, someone's holding the camera. Yeah, for sure. The recording of the audio was done in a studio. There's no way he could have picked up that kind of sound quality in there, especially when he stopped playing and he's clapping, but the guitar kept going. Towards the end, he had some like courses, like multiple layers of his voice. So he recorded those ahead of time and he's layered them in. Wow. You know, I was just thinking, I don't know if this would be a good choice actually for him to play on. Don't play like a this. competition. Right. Yeah, because That's it's right. a very slow burn song. Mm -hmm. You have to take it from the beginning where there's a lot of musical instruments playing and then it kind of builds from there or seems softly too big. I don't know how you mm -hmm. would cut that down to like a, a minute and a half routine <laughs> that typically is what they expect for you on America's Got Talent in these right. competitions. And it's not the kind of song that gets you off your seat with mm -hmm. a big finale. Right. He does hit some high notes and big notes, but it's not designed as a payoff, if you will. So I think it's just one of those things where you just have to appreciate in a reaction channel like ours, mm -hmm. which you can get more of if you subscribe. <laughs> 
<laughs> and, and like the video. <laughs> that's right. And hitting that notification bell. Yeah. And maybe while you're at it, just leaving a comment. You know, all those things that every YouTuber tells you a hundred times over, mm. we just did it. Yes, we will appreciate that. But yeah. I have to agree with you. I would not suggest seeing the song during the finale or even during the competition. Fair enough. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs>